I'm joined here today by the one, the only, of course, talking about Logan Storley. One half of the main event set to take place at Bellator 274, February 19th. What's going on, sir? How are you? Hey, doing well. Glad to hear it, man. It must feel pretty good, though, hearing those words, main event. Like, you know, you know you're know, you building towards something in your career, like main event. That means people are coming to watch you specifically on the card. Yeah, no, that's what uh, that's what you get into this sport for, is to to be the headline guy, be the main guy on the poster. And uh, so I'm excited. How, how was the news broken to you that you were the main event? Like, was it Bellator? Was it your manager? Some people they find out accidentally online. How did you find out? Um, I think, I think uh, my manager let me know that, you know, we were going to be the main event and then the five rounds was changing. So, you know, all main events from from this fight forward will be five, five rounds. So kind of found out that way and, um, you know, excited to uh, excited to get in there next week. So you, you mentioned the five rounds. How does that affect your training? Because I believe that'd be your first time in your career going five rounds. Of course, say that the fight could end sooner, but how do you feel about the five rounds? Um, I think it's good for when you go and fight for that title. You got to get used to those five rounds and to main event fights from now on. You know, you it's going to be five rounds. So um, training-wise, you know, maybe you add in some extra. You do the full 25, um, different kind of peaking things, but... For the most part, you know, uh, whether it's three round or five round, you're always training in your head. You know, you're getting ready for that five round fight anyway. Did, did you and your coaches have to have a conversation about the five rounds and how you change things or sort of like you mentioned, little changes? Maybe just kind of you didn't even have to talk about it. Yeah, not really. I mean, Sanford MMA, we've had so many guys um, fighting for main events, titles, you know, so it's nothing really changes in training you know these these coaches have been there you know hundreds of times with our guys in our gym so who are the people you're working specifically with with this camp obviously you mentioned sanford ton, ton of killers over there who are some of the people you're training with off uh, this fight was uh robbie lawler gilbert burns shavkov uh jason jackson delano taylor vicente luque was in for a while ian gary um you know, the list goes on and on of how many guys. And then we got some good BJJ guys that are in there. So um, really, it's it's a room full of the top guys in the world. And so you get your uh, you get your pick. And so that's that's what it's all about is training with guys like that to get you to that that level. So what did you think when they came to you and they said like Neiman Gracie would be the guy that you're facing off against? Obviously, you know, it's it's the opportunity to put yourself in that title conversation. What did you think when they told you you'd be facing a Neiman? Uh, I figured it was coming. You know, I, I, I figured the, the way the layout was and where we were, I was figuring it was going to be Neiman. Um, he's a it's, a, it's going to be a fun matchup. He's very good on the ground. You know, he's one of the best guys on the ground. And all Bellator or the UFC or where, you know, he is, he's slick and I know that. And I'm one of the best wrestlers in MMA. So um, it's a fun matchup and we're going to, we're going to find out whose pace and whose game plan, you know, gets implemented on February 19th. How, how is it for you preparing for a jujitsu guy? Obviously, you know, your wrestling speaks for itself, the resume and everything. You don't have to worry about it, but it's a different kind of grappling when you're facing off against a jujitsu guy. How does that sort of factor into your camp? Um, yeah, you know, I've spent five years with Gilbert Burns, you know, I, when I first moved to Florida, Gilbert was, was one of my main training guys. So, um, Gilbert's helped me a lot and, you know, I fought some other BJJ guys, um, guys that are tricky, help guys, you know, um, getting ready for other camps against guys like that to emulate. So, um, f the biggest thing is we've kind of harped on is you have to be focused. You can't get lazy in positions. You can't leave your legs out there, your arms out there, and you have to be focused. That's the the biggest thing with with Neiman, because he he's slick. You know, he'll kind of lay around, and all of a sudden, before you know it, he's on your back. You know, or or your leg, you're in a knee bar, or you're in this. So it's we know that he's good. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that. You know, downplay it at all. I know how tricky he is, but I also know where I'm good at. When we have two guys that are very high level on the ground, like sometimes during the fight, you either get a, a high level grappling match that everybody enjoys or the fight never goes to the ground. It's just a striking match the whole time. How are you thinking about the ground game in this fight? Is it about, you know, is that part of your strategy to take it there? Obviously, I know you can't reveal a whole lot, but how does that sort of factor into uh, your game plan? Um, yeah, I think we both uh, we both believe in our ground game 
and at the same time, you know, the classic grappler versus grappler, it turns into a striking match. And so um, I think we're going to find out, you know, who, if he can't take me down or I can't take him down, well, now all of a sudden it's going to be stand, you know, it's going to be a stand up battle anyway. Um, or if one of us is having success on the feet. Um, for me, it's just really, I know I can take down anybody, you know, and I, I truly believe that and train with the best guys in the world. Um, but it's what you do when you get him there, you know, is he, he's given a lot of guys problems, you know, when they take him down. So I have to be smart there. And, um, but at the same time, I'm ready to show my hands as well. I think the fight a lot, a lot of people would look at, you know, in pre preparation for this one is his fight against Ed Ruth, because, you know, obviously the wrestling background and everything, I think people would find it similar. Is that a fight that you've watched in preparation or are you one of those guys who don't really uh, watch tape? No, I've watched it, you know, and then you always also, you know, Rory McDonald, one of, you know, he's not here now, but training partner, I trained with him a lot. You know, you watch his fight. And so it's different. And Jason Jackson, another teammate of mine fought him. So, um, you know, Ed's fight was a little different because Ed kept getting himself into positions, wore himself out. And then Neiman got the better of him. Uh, so, you know, I, for me, it's just, I know I've, grappling with the best guys in the world, you know, and spending time with the best guys in the world. So, you know, for me, really, it's, I know where, I know where to get to. And, um, at the same time, you have to be focused. What, what, what's the pressure like heading into this fight? Obviously a lot of people see this as a breakout opportunity. I know last fight, there was a lot of pressure too. You're fighting at home. I know most of the fans came just to see you. What's the pressure like in this fight compared to last fight? Uh, this one is, uh, he's a top guy in the world. You know, so there's no the last guy wasn't ranked, you know, so there's that uh, you can't let this guy beat you, you know, and it's this one is um, we're both highly ranked guys, respectable guys. And but I, I'm, I'm excited, you know, I'm, it's uh, it's one of those things where you take this opportunity to fight for a title, right? You got to go out there, perform and then put your name in the hat for fighting for the title next. Have you experienced a lot of differences now that you're the main event? Everyone's kind of focusing on you guys. Is it just from the fans? We know sometimes social media gets a little bit crazy. Have you noticed the difference in this fight? I mean, for me, it's I don't really let that get to me, I guess. Um, you do more interviews and things like that. But uh, for the most part, no, It's you have to still go do your job. And that's what it's about is you have to go do your job. You got to perform. And uh, we both want to go there and put on an exciting fight. That's really what you know, both of us want to do. So what does a win in this fight do for you? I assume obviously it puts you in the top five, puts you in a great position, but realistically, what do you think a win here does for you? Um, I think you fight for the title next day. If, if it's a dominating performance, you know, that's, that's what I think. And so I need to go out there and, and dominate them. And so we know obviously the champ right now, someone that you fought in the past, that was a very close fight. Do you sort of look at him as a champion does that kind of help you measure where you're at in the division because you know you fought the champion before so does he give you an idea yeah you know i've felt it um you know split decision i thought i did enough to win the fight but it is what it is you know much respect to amasov um he went out there and did a hell of a job against uh lima and so um yeah listen like i have repeated myself when you train with the best guys in the world you, you know where you're at and when you've competed, been in the cage with the best guy in the world, you, you know exactly where you're at. So um, it's just little details, right? You got to clean up here, fix these few positions, um, and I'm I'm ready to do that. Who who's been like the biggest help in this camp? I assume you know when I heard Gilbert Burns, automatically I'm thinking you know you want a high level jujitsu guy. That's the guy. Is there someone in particular that's been really the most helpful? I mean, obviously I know it's tough when, when you work with so many guys, but has there been that one person that's been, you know, more helpful specifically for this fight? Uh, you know, Robbie's always, always the Robbie Lawler is always a guy that's in my corner and kind of just helps me through the training camp and make sure things are on point. There's also been some really good BJJ guys that have came in, helped me specifically, um, and just little positions, you know, that they're taking their time away. And, you know, I always appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a full, it's a team effort, really. You know, that's what it takes, a full team training, uh, the whole coaching staff, all the all your training partners. Um, you know, everyone kind of helps everyone. 
Well, with you working with Robbie, I'm sure you get asked about him a lot, but do you know kind of what the future holds for him? Because we saw the awesome fight with Nick Diaz. It seemed like everybody's kind of figuring out what's next. Do you have an update for Robbie Lawler? Um, I don't. I just, uh, I know Rob's uh, excited. I know he's, he kind of, that was the best, you know, Rob looked like old Robbie Lawler and, and he was excited and been in the gym since then. And, and, uh, I think he wants to, uh, go for another little run at it, you know? And so I don't know. He, I know he's getting older, but he, uh, he doesn't, he doesn't seem to age, you know, and, and he looked great and he's looked great in the gym. So just excited to, you know, it's, uh, he's a legend and we'll be, you know, hall of famer. And so I guess, you know, kind of whatever he wants to do. What was going through your mind as you're watching his fight with Nick Diaz? Like, obviously, it started crazy because Nick threw that crazy kick. And like you mentioned, you're watching Robbie, and you feel like we're going back to Carlos Condit, Roy McDonald, those awesome fights. What are you thinking as someone that knows him very closely? Um, once he started to get going, I was like, holy, you know, this is this is Rob. You know, his feet were moving. His one-two, his uppercut, you know, it was mid about mid-second round. I was just like, yeah, this is the... This is the Rob we all know and have seen fight, you know, when he went on that run and Elite X, you know, when he was knocking people out and it was, uh, it was a lot of fun to see that for him. I was, you know, super, super excited, um, especially after, you know, he's had some tough fights, you know, really, you know, tough matchups. And um, I don't feel like that was Robbie, you know, that we were seeing. And then to see that fight and it was, it was fun to see. It was exciting to see, you know, guy who I've looked up to and has helped me, you know, mentored me. And so it was, it was cool to say, see that. Do, do you see a lot of vintage Robbie in the gym, you know, sort of the bite down on the mouthpiece and then somebody's getting knocked out no matter what, like, do you guys see that or is he more careful in training? Yeah, no, you don't see that. And you don't see that in training. Um, I mean, we're not getting paid in the gym, you know? And so we've got a good group of guys who all, all trust each other and respect each other. But at the same time, there's hard rounds for sure. But you got to make sure that you're not going crazy because kind of like back in the day where I think a lot of people went, went wild in the gym, you know, the, you don't have a long career doing that. Uh, getting back to your fight with uh, Neiman, one last question for you, sort of an easy one, but how do you see yourself getting your hand raised out there? Uh, outworking him, outpointing him and, and pushing the space pushing the pace, landing my shots. And I think that, you know, you can start to pull away later in the fight. All right, well, there we go. We look forward to it, man. It's going to be a great fight. Thanks so much for the time. I really appreciate it. Thank you.